with my friend Addie. Hey. And today we are filming a boy Q&A where you ask your questions about boys and we fail to answer. So she also has that channel with one of our other friends named Shelby. And it's called Two Tubers. It will be linked down below, so subscribe. They are working to get a video up. They have a ton recorded, but and they're already edited. So we ask you questions on Twitter and Instagram, and since I get less on Twitter, uh, less like questions, then we're gonna start on there, and then we will work our way over to Instagram. Also, if you want to be featured in my next Q and A video, don't forget to follow me on both of my social media accounts at Gracie Holmes for both of them. Libby Carver asked, "When was your first kiss?" Mine was beginning of seventh grade at the movies. Um, I didn't have a first kiss. I have not. I've never kissed a boy in my entire life, okay? No, I've never been kissed. Like, on the cheek, on the lip, on the forehead, nothing. Is it okay to have a guy best friend when dating someone? Like, it's nothing more than a friendship. With the other guy. With the other guy. By the way, that was from the second person. That was, yeah. Okay, anyways. The way that I would look at this is... Put yourself in his shoes. If he had a girl best friend and he was hanging out with them, and I don't know, maybe no, basically no. For her, I mean, it's honestly, I'm gonna be honest, like completely honest. If I knew that this girl couldn't compete with me, like personality wise, looks wise, everything wise, then I wouldn't worry about it. Couldn't That's just because, I, huh? Like, couldn't compete. I mean, that's honest. Is. That's just how people they, And boys, like, they think if I wanted to be with her, I would be with her. But honestly, then why are you hanging out with her? No, that doesn't make sense. Because they're just friends. Maybe they just have more in common. No. Don't okay. talk about. If you, if I have a boyfriend. And she's, she's for and it. He has a, she's not for it. I'm if, for if it. I, I'm like, whatever. If I have a boyfriend and he has a girl best friend that is actually, like, potentially pretty and she's potentially going to steal my man no. no i mean maybe you should talk to him about it and see how he actually feels instead of just assuming katie phillips said do you have a boyfriend no no how to deal with a breakup cry yeah just freaking let it all out i guess okay if you because like a boy and you date and then they break up with you or you just break up because they cheated on you because they're freaking losers. Then just they evaluate about it and don't worry because it will be okay. Stop. Right. Evaluate the reason that y'all broke up. If he bro you broke up with him because he cheated on you, maybe you cheated on him, or maybe because I don't know. But obviously, you aren't good for each other. Or maybe you just aren't good for each other at the moment. And if he cheated on you, it's a du he's a douchebag. Don't cry about it. Just punch him in the face. Yeah. Sabrina Sabri underscore said, friend zoned. I have a lot of friend zoned people. Yes. And like, I've been friend zoned by friend zoned, some fan people. zoned, sister zoned, cousin zoned. Oh, yes. I hate the freaking sister zone. Um, okay, so it goes from friend zone to family zone to cousin zone to sister zone. And I ha was in the sister zone for literally two years. Well, I don't <coughs> like somebody that's just kind of like, don't know zone. Yeah, like we're friends and but like I feel like he's closer to me than just a friend, but he's in a zone where you're, we're not going to date. You mean turn on and turn off. Uh, turn on for me, I don't really even look at it like that to be honest. I just find it attractive. Straight teeth. I was just about to say that. That's the Oh my gosh, yes. And like, if they smell good, like good cologne. Uh, but please do not overpower it. Like sometimes I will smell guys and like they have this, like I'm not saying change up your cologne because, but sometimes you will overpower it. I can smell you from freaking across the gym and like it smells good, but I smell it every freaking day that I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna throw up if I, if I smell it again. Woo! Let's go over our thing, our list. Turn on is good teeth and smelling good. Turn off is smelling too strong. So this is or like being very unhygienic. Like I don't care. Brush like if teeth. I like you, I like you. I don't care if your teeth are messed up or something like that. I mean, like that's whatever. Um, but you gotta take care of yourself. Yeah. Oh, and it's the short. same around your friends that you do when you're just with her. And then you're all like, then when you're together, you're just like, oh baby, I love you. Just like no. And then when you're around no. your friends, you're like, please get away. But girls can spot bullcrap from a mile away. You might not think I'm that about everything. Is. Madeline said, should girls ask guys out? Hmm. 
if you're already dating, I think that it's okay to be like, hey, let's go eat somewhere or something. But if you're like before that, you just might seem like needy. You might seem that way even if you're really not that way. Yeah. And when we say this, not all guys are like this, but there's a lot of people that are like this. Okay, what is your opinion on your boyfriend, not the guy you're talking to, but your boyfriend liking pictures of other girls on Instagram? It doesn't now, bother this, me. I really don't care. This is major. Like, oh, wait, 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 wait. Hey, if you, you dated, if you used to date that girl, then don't like her pictures. You better unfollow her. You better, actually, I don't really care if you unfollow her, but, like, don't like her pictures because then she might think it's something. Especially if she, like, if you broke up with her and she still, like, has feelings for you, please don't like her pictures. It's just better not to. I mean, I'm not I'm really going to worry like, about it. I'm not going to, like, go crazy about it, but still, like, I'm going to, like, be like, oh. Tyler Tucker underscore said, weird but cute things y'all think guys do. I think when guys tickle me, it's cute, and that might not be weird, but I think it's cute even though I want to kick you in your face when you do it. I don't have any weird things. Oh, no, no, like, no. When well, they're, like, things. tickling you just to, like, for you to, like, push them away so they can grab your hand, like, just, like, as an easy way for them to, like, hold your hand. I think that's, like, dorky, but it's cute, and I just, I don't know. Yeah. I think it's cute. I don't know. I like impersonations, like impressions. Like when guys do like Jim Carrey impressions. I think it's so funny. I find it funny, not cute. Blonde or brunette guys? I like brown hair guys. I like black hair guys. Favorite One Direction member? Harry Styles. I don't like One Direction. Are you freaking kidding me? No. That is a freaking lie. I used to like One Direction and I, Harry Styles was my favorite and I used to like cry that he would never be with me but now I really don't like One Direction at all. Kelsey Fitz said, what if you like a guy but he's dating someone else? Then you shouldn't like that guy. I'm not saying you, me and her have totally opposite You can think opinions. that he's cute but you cannot. I mean I think it's, if you like that guy then you can't tell people that you like that guy because he's gonna yeah. find out. You can like him but you gotta do it in secret because yeah. Honestly, like you can't even tell your best friends. I would. You can tell because I trust y'all. And think about how annoying that would be being somebody's girlfriend and knowing that like three other girls liked him. Like that would be so annoying. Like you would feel like, like accomplished in the world because you have the guy that everybody wants. But then you'd be kind of scared because like, what if he actually liked them back? You know. I was going down. Jennifer Lewin Goss, I think, said best way to approach a guy you like. You should just go up to him and be like, hey, you're cute, or you look cute today, or just compliment him or something like that, because honestly, the worst he can do is, is look at you like you're an idiot. But, but okay, you don't just need to go up to a random guy that you think is cute and be like, hey, you're cute. Yeah. You need to like be, you need to have talked to that person at least once, or, no, at least 50 times before. 50 is not I don't know Whatever. 50 expensive or chill first date. I'm gonna be honest. I like I like expensive things in life, but I'm not gonna go for him for just his money. Like I'm not I'm gonna like, go for him. I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna go for a guy for his money. But I don't have Neither to have an I. expensive first date. But it'd be nice to have one, you know, once in a while. Really. Okay. Like well, since I'm moving <coughs> to New York when I get older, like so. there's a lot of nice places <clears throat> to eat there. And you know, every once in a while, we're just gonna go to a cute little pizza place on the corner. But I want you to take me to a place and get me a freaking filet. I'm not just going to eat a salad. Freaking buy me a steak and we'll call it a night. Madeline is the best said, would you rather have a nerd as a boyfriend or a bad boy as a boyfriend? I would rather have a, boy, a bad boy. Not like a bad. Like, I think that, I don't know, just a good looking person. But no, like really, honestly, I read a lot of books. I want oh, a fictional yeah, bad guy. I have like a deep inside. So, yeah, that was our video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you would like to be featured in my next Q&A, no matter what the topic is. So, yeah, I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe to them and follow them on their social media accounts. I love you so much.